Hello and welcome back everyone, this is Anfo from more Star Wars The Old Republic. Where we last left off, we found out there was more secret projects that the Republic was building on various planets. We found out about two of those on Terrace and Narshara. Oh, I'm not going to Old Mantel. I say before we do any of that, I will do what I mentioned in the previous episode. This is going to be an interlude where we will try to do the Hammer Station Flashpoint. So, I could just use the group finder and send us away, but some people might be wondering why are we going to a place called Hammer Station? What's the particular reason? And we can find that out on the fleet. Let's just exit the ship. And I can show you another sector, another section of Carrick Station. Drink a tea while we're waiting. <laughs> so we need to pop down to the main level. And then, let's see where we are. I think we're in the bottom left hand corner. Yep, we need to go to... Mission Departures, that's the one. Apologies if the frames drop slightly here. I say the Republic fleet's normally quite busy. Can't be helped too much. But yeah, we need to go to the Mission Departures here. And we want to go to... trying to think. Dropship Hangar, I think. Yeah, this looks right. If we go over here, we have a quest. We actually have two because we can also do Aphis as well. There's three here, there's three on the far side. And these are like the basic dungeons you can start doing. This is Republic Emergency Response Corps Secure Hollow Frequency Polaris. A crisis on the Outer Rim requires immediate intervention. The Adversa Hegemony have obtained a Republic battle station and are using it for acts of aggressive expansion, conquering entire star systems. I've never heard of this group. What are they after? There is a xenophobic political faction seeking to expand. Until now, they've been a containable threat. During the last war, Republic scientists developed a mobile battle station codenamed Hammer. It bombarded planetary surfaces using asteroids as weapons. Hammer Station was indiscriminately destructive. The project was cancelled and its prototype order destroyed. We don't know how the Adversa Hegemony now possesses it. We'll solve that mystery later. The point is that station could level whole cities. The planet scheme resisted the Hegemony's demands to surrender. Hammer Station reduced its capital city to ashes two hours ago. A direct fleet assault would be suicide. Shields are useless against asteroid strikes. The station can target and destroy large vessels easily. But an assault shuttle could evade the asteroids and deliver a commando team to destroy Hammer Station from the inside. We just need volunteers. This is what I train for. I'll bring down that station, whatever it takes. Be careful. The Jedi Order cannot afford to lose you. Destroying the station is your main objective, but we need to know how the hegemony obtained it. Any data you recover could prove useful. Hammer Station has just entered orbit above Salukami and demanded its surrender. Your assault shuttle is standing by. May the Force be with you. So yeah, you could just join the Flashpoint from the Group Finder, which is what we'll do, because we need a party to actually run this. But, I've never actually sat down and like read the reasons why we're doing this, just the aftermath, so, kinda interesting. Let's join the Group Finder, we are a tank looking for Hammer Station. And straight away we find a party. We have a healer who is going to be a Jedi Sage, and we have two gunslingers as our attack characters. That sounds fine. We ready up. So I was going to cut the video here until we found a party, but it seems to be um, playing nicely for once. 
Hopefully Mirana readies up and then we can get this show on the road. Ah, he's probably fell asleep. I might as well sell my miscellaneous items while we wait. Oh, I can't even drag this to one side. Stand by for examination and suggested products. Uh, we don't really need this anymore. You are fit for duty. Return to your post. That's the one thing about playing as a damage only class like the Gunslinger or the Jedi Sentinel. Sometimes you are waiting in Group Finder, sometimes for up to an hour, sometimes even two hours waiting for the perfect um, f combination of party basically to come together. Whereas tanking classes and healing classes, you'll know from other like, online games, tend to find parties much quicker because there's a lot less people who play those classes. I prefer, I prefer um, sages and sith sorcerers as the healers because they have a bit more survivability and they can put a shield around you to absorb some of the early damage. Uh, looks like Morin's not going to be joining us. And instead, we get a Jedi Sentinel. Okay, I can work with that. I don't think Mr. Chris was the one in my party before though, but it is another gunslinger. Let's see if these two uh, DPS classes join us any faster than the other two. Yep, one down, one to go. Freezing force skill to a bit closer for my fingers. We, I don't generally use them. Oh, there we go. They're in my party now. So we get to travel to Hammer Station. We could just walk through that field, it would have had ex the exact same effect. Would it introduce us to the flashpoint? You will see, as opposed to the Esselys Flashpoint, there's a lot less um, story, uh, well, story basically, involved in this. It's quite a lot of action and only maybe a couple of points where you sit down and actually like watch a cutscene. There you go, we have arrived. Straight for Tambor, there you go. I'll put my God ability on him so he takes less threat for healing. Is he gonna be there or is he not? Oh, there he is, good. Everyone's healed up, let's get the show on the road. Excellent. I'm always nervous at the beginning of flashpoints, just to make sure that people know their jobs, basically. As long as the healer's healing me and not actually attacking. Now this is the hardest pull probably on this flashpoint because these two elites can um, cut through your teammates quite easily. Or cut through you for that matter. Ah oh, crap. So he actually marked that and say he was gonna CC it. 
That was my bad. I should have asked what the mark was for CC or actually target that target. Sometimes it means one or the other. Oh, we have a customizable scatter gun. We don't need it. Um, not even the gunslinger can use it, but we'll let him roll. It's usable for his class. Now, if we have someone who specialised in scavenging here, we can unlock this power drill. Does anyone have it? No? Okay, that's fine. It allows you a shortcut to the next area, but it's not a major thing. like in this healer he's doing a pretty good job excellent And he is the first boss. This is the Tunneler. Our jealous rivals would destroy our great weapon. But today, the Admiral's Hegemony earns its place in the galaxy. Guardian systems Pretty straightforward fight. He summons friends, but as long as you don't attack them, they eventually die themselves. They blow themselves up. Healer's doing an excellent job, actually. I haven't even dropped you below 80% yet, I think. Very nice. And there's a strength lightsaber. I don't need it because I've been modifying, but Ejin can use it, of course, because he can wield two. So I'll just greed and let him have it. He needs two strength lightsabers. And we will continue. Let's wait for everyone to catch up.
quite liking this party. There's no one impatient, no one rushing ahead to fight before I am there. It's kind of how the party's meant to go. All cooperation. Okay, we'll be a bit patient. Can I get everyone's attention? If someone had a slicing ability of, I think it's 75, there's an elevator there. There you go. Again, it's a small convenient shortcut if you so choose. Healer has left for some reason. I don't understand why, but fair enough. We'll try and find a replacement. But we can continue in the meanwhile. And avoid these two quite easily. It's just jumping up, jumping up here. This is Babylon Krishan to the intruders. This station is capable of pulverizing continents. Do you think it will fall to a single strike team? Pure arrogance. There you go, who needs healers? <laughs> ah, and a cunning um, customizable top. Each flashpoint may have a, a particular outfit for each class, or for most classes at least. And some of them do look quite snazzy. So this is a security console. Allows us entrance to the general, I think he's called. But meanwhile, you find power to the engineering level. You now have a choice to overload or disable the power conduits. Overloading could kill them, or you could just simply disable them. We'll be nice. I don't feel like killing people today. Apart from the people who stand in my way, of course. <laughs> ah. But someone, the Sentinel, decided to... Um, sabotage them instead. Ah, we got level 22 Sage in our party. Uh, 
Oh boy. Just wait to first see her moving. Say hello. Wait for her to join us. Yeah, she's using her force speed. Excellent. And um, I need to put my guard on her, which is this one. We can just avoid this droid if so wish. Excellent. Now these two champion mobs can be a total pain in the butt. We'll find out if they disable it. No, it looks like they're not. That's fine then. Now the slight bridge, you may have just noticed it, I haven't really brought it to brought attention to it. Um, this is like the main cannon, I suppose you can call it, of Hammer Station launching a asteroids out into space. Looks like they've already begun assaulting the planet below, unfortunately. We can't really stop that, because there's an asteroid on its way. But of course we can't cross the bridge when it's not actually there, so we have to wait. And here we are. Hounds of the Republic, come to steal back your battle station? You won't have it. But Lord Kashan, he has a few interesting skills. I am a battle lord of the Admiral's There you go. He has a, a long channeled attack there. He has a pushback, which make sure you don't get knocked into the void here because it's panel by itself. There you go. As long as you stay out of his channel ability, he can't really do too much damage to you. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, crap. Yeah, you got our Jedi by mistake. That was my bad. The idea is you got to turn him around and make sure he doesn't actually hit anyone else. Ow, 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 ow. There you go. The battle load has been completed. We have a willpower lightsaber, which we don't need. And a cunning pair of gloves, which we also don't need. Ah, 
Hammer station is being destroyed because we overloaded it. Now let's get the hell out of here. back on the Republic fleet. We just need to report back to Satil. Hammer station is destroyed, Master Satil. The people of Selukami and the other conquered worlds send their gratitude. The enemy has retreated to their home system. Should we pursue the Abaza Hegemony's forces, or focus on shoring up the planets they conquered? The hegemony is no longer a threat. This is a time to heal our losses. Thanks to you, we know how Hammer Station survived destruction. Years ago, its autopilot was set to fly the station into a nearby star. According to the data you recovered, a mechanical failure cut the station's engine just short of its final destination. Adversic salvagers discovered it several months ago. The salvagers towed Hammer Station back to Hegemony space and gave its government the weapon they'd always wanted. In the end, the responsibility lies with the Republic. We should never have built such a terrible weapon. Regardless, your valiant efforts will be remembered. Take care, and may the force be with you. Yeah, speaking of a um, shouldn't build, shouldn't be building terrible weapons. What exactly is going on right now in my storyline? Oh yeah, weapons of terrible mass destruction have been built. Ah, <sighs> parallels, everyone. So yeah, this has been Hammer Station and that flashpoint. Basically, I hope you've all enjoyed and. I hope you all take care uh, in the next time. We may do the Aphish, uh, the Aphis Flashpoint. We could do it at our point. I think it's recommended to be level 21 to do it, but it could be interesting to give it a whirl. So, I will see you all in the next part when we decide, well, when I decide what we're going to do. Bye-bye now.